here's the problem. This winch, I've got it hooked up. It will not go out. It's clicking though. So like power is getting over to the motor, but it will go in. See, it'll spin going in, not going out. So I believe the problem may be into this box. I don't know. I hear something rattling around in here. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do to test that, I'm going to take this jump box and I'm going to hook the battery cable directly to this positive and negative and see if it turns the motor. And then I'm going to switch the battery cables around, put the negative here, positive there, see if it turns it the other way. If it does, then I know this the problem is not in the winch motor is fine. I'm going to replace this here box and I've got a whole nother box right here that I've had on standby the solenoid so I'll just replace that whole thing out with the wires so let's see let's see it's, it's gonna spark yeah it's spark but it ain't doing okay it's spark but it ain't doing nothing let's check the other way all right now we switch it around we're gonna check this way Either way, it's not doing work. So therefore, that motor's bad because it's got power and it ain't doing a darn thing. So I'm gonna take this whole winch off and go get another one. Instead of taking this box off, that tells me my problem right there was in the motor of the winch. And it has warranty on it. By the boom, by the bit. First thing I'm gonna do is loosen these, uh, all these wires. They're 13 inch. I'm going to take all of these off, and then I'm going to get up under there and uh, loosen the uh, four bolts that hold the winch on. And then I'm going to load this bad boy up and take it and go get me a replacement. It has a two-year warranty on it, so and I'll make sure I add a warranty on the replacement. This winch right here is only, this winch isn't even a year old, so... Must just be like a defect in it or something. Yep, and we'll go from here. I'm gonna take one, two. These are the four bolts that hold the main thing on. I mean, five eight inch. I'm gonna just pop these off. With this so much easier. Just pop it off like that. And then that's it. Take the winch off. Is out of there. Now we're gonna take her behind back to the stove. Get another one. Come and put it on. And we should be good to go using the same solenoid box and everything. Let's go and get another winch. And here we go. Excuse me. Can you lift this for me? I don't see the need, the reason I need to lift when there's a man around. <laughs> you can't lift it, you can't buy Oh, we well, see, that's what I got you for. <laughs> How you doing today? Good, that's good, right there. Yeah. My other one went out. you have an ITC membership or no? Yeah, I do. But I got the old one up there. It's got warranty on it. See, you make it look so light. Thank you, thank you. The beard is growing in nice now. I like that. You're welcome. All right, we got this winch. Now I'm about to go swap this bad boy out. How you doing today? I'm well. So what I've done, I just put the new winch on, but I didn't bolt anything down. And I just use these old wires. I got the brand new one that came with it. But I just figure I just put these old ones in. If they're not bad, I'm going to see. Make sure that it works first. I guess I got to hook it up. Maybe it is the silicone pack too. Because it ain't connecting. But I also don't have these wires hooked up tight. So let me do that. Let me hook these wires up tight. Okay, I got the wires hooked up tight, so let's see. Nope. Still no power. So that tells me that this box is also bad, the solenoid. So I'm going to take it off and use a new one. After I got down here, 
I realized the reason I wasn't getting no power was because I did not have my ground hookup. But nevertheless, I still went ahead and just put on a whole new, the brand new solenoid box that came with this. So I got power. It's retracting, going both ways. So we go from there. I'm gonna bolt this, bolt this thing back down, and I'll be good to go. Here's the thing. I ended up putting this new box on, this new solenoid box, because when I had no power, after I got up under there, and I already done loosened the wires, I saw the reason I had no power, I did not have this ground wire hooked up, so that's why we didn't have power. So the problem was not, there was no problem with this box. The problem with the winch, the winch would um, go in, but it would not go out. And after testing diagnostic, the problem was with the motor, the winch motor. So the winch had a bad motor. It was under warranty. Replaced it and could have used the same solenoid box. But because I'd already loosened and cut the zip ties to the wires that I had ran up under there, I just went ahead and put the new solenoid box on. Problem fixed. Now we have power going out. See? And in. And in and out. So, problem is fixed by the boom by the bee.